Pluto. Not a planet, not a problem. By Stacy McAnulty. Illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Our Universe. Pluto. Not a planet, not a problem. By Pluto with Stacy McAnulty. Illustrated by Pluto and Stevie Lewis. Nice to meet you. The name is Pluto, and I'm a proud, playful, and popular non-planet. Think of me like a lovable family pet. Think of me like a loyal friend. Just don't think of me as a boring old planet. Planet schmanet, I say. Our solar system has eight planets. Mercury, the fast one. Venus, the hot one. Earth, the one with ice cream and books. Mars, the red one. Jupiter, the big one. Saturn, the one known for his rings. Uranus, the sideways one. Neptune, the last one. And then there's me, the tiny adorable one. But I'm not a planet. We were all born more than 4.5 billion years ago. We're basically from the same litter. I love my planet-filled family, but I never felt like one of them. I'm a special, the runt. Me, smaller than Mercury, even smaller than Earth's moon. Mercury is 3,032 miles across. Earth's moon is 2,159 miles across. Pluto is 1,476 miles across. Like Earth, Mars, and the others, I spin about my center. But I also spin with Charon, my largest moon, where playmates circling each other. One Pluto day equals 6.4 Earth days. At least four other moons are part of my pack too. Styx and Nix, Kerberos and Hydra. I'm a pokey little non-planet, taking 248 Earth years to trot around the sun. And my orbit is unique and not very planet-like. It's tilted. I'm round, a very popular and fetching look in our solar system. And check it out, I have a heart. This spot is called Tombo Regio. It's a humongous area of flat ice surrounded by mountains of ice. I'm frozen but friendly. My average temperature is negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit. To find me, you have to back up. Back way up. If Earth were on step one away from the sun, I'd be 39 steps away from the sun. Ancient Earthlings gazed at the night skies but could never spot me, no matter how much I yowled or yelped. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn can be seen with the naked eye. That means an eye without a telescope and an eye without underwear. And then... More than 240 years ago, in 1781 to be exact, humans used a telescope to discover Uranus. And in 65 years later, in 1846 to be exact, they glimpsed Neptune. I had to wait, and wait, and wait. I was getting dog-tired. Until... Best day ever. February 18th, 1930. Years of search add new planet to solar system. Cutest planet discovered. I was no longer astray. Talk about puppy love. Earthlings adored me. They declared me the ninth planet. An 11-year-old girl from England suggested my name. I was doggone excited to be added to the family portrait. Over the years, humans set out to know me better. They used telescopes in space to snap pictures. Hello, Hubble. Oh, that's a good one. And eventually, they sent a spacecraft to do a flyby. It took nine and a half years to reach me. Hello, New Horizons. Oh, that's a really good one.
Scientists needed 76 years to realize I wasn't like the original eight planets. They made official rules. A planet must orbit the sun, check, be round, check, clear the neighborhood. Clear the neighborhood. This means being big enough to scare away all other objects in my path around the sun. But I'm too friendly and don't mind sharing my space. Astronomers came up with a new breed. Dwarf planet. I wasn't alone. Eris and Ceres were named dwarf planets too. Years later, Make Make and Haumea joined us. Someday, I bet there will be even more of us non-planets. So remember, the name is Pluto. I'm not a planet, and that's not a problem. Dear Pluto fan, are you on Team Planet or Team Dwarf Planet? Personally, I think we should all just be on Team Pluto. It doesn't matter how us Earthlings label him, perky little Pluto is a fascinating part of our solar system. Isn't it awesome that we have learned so much about our universe that we need to debate and change definitions? Just a hundred years ago, humans didn't know Pluto existed. Since then, we found planets, black holes, new moons, the Cupier Belt, and more. So, let's keep debating how to categorize new discoveries because that means we're making new discoveries. Yippee! Sincerely, Stacy McAnalty, author and proud member of Team Pluto. P.S. Light speed is 186,000 miles per second. Science doesn't literally work at light speed, but sometimes it feels like it does. It makes every attempt to bring you accurate and up-to-date information, but some material may have changed as our knowledge of the universe has expanded. Pluto or Earth or both? Who can claim the following statements? No doubt about it, I'm a planet. Earth. But Pluto could have made this comment before 2006. That's when the International Astronomical Union, the IAU, created official rules for planetary status. They also set up a new category called dwarf planets, and Pluto was a founding member. Woof woof! I share a name with a famous cartoon dog. Pluto. In spring 1930, the former planet's name was suggested by Venetia Burney, an 11-year-old girl from England. Around the same time, Walt Disney Company had created a character called Rover, a pet dog owned by Minnie Mouse. In 1931, the dog was renamed Pluto, and it became Mickey's pet. Looking for mountains? Then look at me! Both! Earth, of course, has plenty of mountains, and some are even in the oceans. The mountains on Pluto are made of water ice. Pluto is so cold that ice is harder than rock. Zoom! I spin faster than Mercury. Both. It takes Earth 24 hours or so, as we call it, one day, to do one full spin on her axis. Pluto needs 6.4 Earth days to complete a spin. But both Earth, but both Earth and Mer Pluto are much faster than Mercury, who requires 59 Earth days to complete one spin on his axis. Patience, people. Sunlight takes five and a half hours to reach me. Pluto. On average, our favorite dwarf planet is 3.7 billion miles away from the sun, and it takes sunlight 5.5 hours to make that trip. Sunlight only needs eight minutes to reach Earth. Double trouble, dynamic duo. Because of my big moon, I'm often called a double body system. Pluto. Our moon revolves around Earth. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, does not orbit Pluto. Instead, they're closer in size than Earth and Moon. Pluto and Charon circle each other, making them a double body system. Pluto by the numbers. 9. For 75 years, Pluto was considered the ninth planet from Sun. 3,700,000. The average distance between Sun and Pluto is 3.7 billion miles. 39. The distance between Earth and Sun is 1 astronomical unit, AU. The distance between Pluto and Sun is 39 AUs. 153. A day on Pluto is 153 hours long. That's more than 6 Earth days. 248. A Plutonian year is 248 Earth years long. 
Since Pluto was discovered, it has yet to complete a lap around the sun. 1,476. Pluto's diameter is 1,476 miles, which is smaller than moon's diameter and about half of the width of the continuous United States. 5. Astronomers have observed five moons orbiting Pluto, Charon, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. 1930. Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto on February 18, 1930, at Lowell Observatory in Arizona. What's a planet? At the 2006 IAU conference, astronomers crowned Pluto a dwarf planet. Some people called this a demotion, but let's simply think of it as a change. You see, in the years leading up to this change, scientists were discovering new objects in the farthest points of our solar system. All these new finds were much smaller than Pluto until Eris was spotted. Scientists had decided if Eris should be considered a planet too. It was time for a good definition of a planet with clear rules. Planets orbit the sun, is round, clears its neighborhood. The first two requirements are easy to understand. Planets revolve around sun. Earth does this in 365 days and we call it a year. Planets are generally round, but clears its neighborhood is harder to understand. That is where Pluto fails to meet the mark. Same for Eris. Imagine Earth, the other seven planets, and Pluto circling the sun like they're on, rec on a racetrack, each in their own lane. Pluto planets will keep their lanes clear if any other object of similar size. Not so for Pluto, who is part of the crowd of the Cupier belt. Pluto has not cleared his neighborhood. He shares his orbit and is thus therefore not a planet. He's a friendly dwarf planet. Dwarf planets orbit the sun, are round, do not clear their neighborhood, are not satellites, meaning they're not a moon, 